And you are tuned for another training session with VanguardK9.com. Good boy! Yeah! Welcome to Vanguard K9, and I am Master Wonder Boss. This is session four with Nero's 2. We're targeting with the sleeve this real life exposure with a sports style and twist. We're teaching him to get the ball and bring it back with this basic protection training. If you're looking for a working puppy, we are VanguardK9.com. Just about anything to expose him to the real world, the real life protection scenarios. VanguardK9.com. Any type of dog you like. Do whatever you do to make a dog mad. Make you mad. Hey, come here for a second. You got the camera film rolling. You're running up film. Go ahead and tell these people about how I'm a great of a helper in the dog training year so they'll know who you is. I get it from the vets. <laughs> hey, so today, uh, we're going to try a little bit of sports shit. I know we got a sleeve and all that. You ain't got to, um, go, all we're going to do is just, you, you piss him off, let him see you. you hide back behind the thing. I'm going to hold him like I'm pitting him. I just want to make him real crazy. I want him to thank you coming out. So I'm going to go right here. I'm going to put him right there. He can, he's not going to see you behind the tree. So make sure you be watching. And when I say the attack word, you immediately come out because I'm putting the attack word in his head. Mm -hmm. um, but at some point, if if I if I say, uh, read the dog. I'm going to let you see today what you're doing. Don't watch me. Don't worry about what I'm saying. I want you. I want to see if you know what you're doing. Read the dog. If you're making a piss, you know when it, when it disappear. If you ain't making a piss and you need to intimidate him to make him piss, then you do it. Whenever he gets to his highest of pissivity where he seems like he's mad as hell, then go out the picture. I can go out, go, go out the picture because he's looking at the cameraman. So hit the gate first and then go back behind the thing. Oh, boy, wait a minute. Good boy. Clicker. Wait a minute. Good boy. Good boy. Now today all I'm doing is just reinforcing the word get him hot, I want to get him pissed, I want to make him when he bad, I don't know what, and so that's all this is today we're training, we're not really actually training a dog to bite or anything, but this is the most important part of the training, is this right here, what you see seeing happening today, okay, ready, hot police, hot police, with him staying close to the gate you whatever it is your talent is let's see it brother I don't want to have to guide you I want to talk to my dog you've been doing it too long you ready watch him watch him. You ran him off. Now this is very important to what we're doing. You can bring the camera up to the mailbox. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't ease up, don't ease like the engine. You're gonna trigger the dog into something. Come on, come up a little bit more. Come to the mailbox so you can get it. Look at the camera so you can zoom in on what he's doing so they can see it real clear. Great, next time move a little faster, do a little sneaky, do some things, move a shuffle, do the hand, do something, you gotta piss him off a little bit more. You move it slower, but it's there. If he wasn't a good dog, if he wasn't a good dog, you'd have lost it. But, but you you did good, that was just too slow, too long. You gotta bring out his drive, you gotta make him real crazy by doing stuff to him to piss him off, moving faster. Uh, moving the hand, run to the other side, and come almost, 
and back up then and back up then come at him and you you gotta do something. What I'm telling him here, he has to read the dog and at some point he has to do things to bring out those hitting drives in the pub. As a handler, my job is to teach the dog the trigger word and how the good the dog is obedience wise. But and protection is how animated the decoy is or the helper. Do something. Ready? Oh, pussy! Now this time, I want you to come out the gate and we're going to give him a bite. Uh, you can put it on the, yeah, 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 the, the right hand. So when you come out the gate, you're going to face him and then you're going to walk backwards towards the backyard. But you're walking backwards with your hand up. Uh, 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 come with low, kind of, kind of low so we can give a low bite. So we can make sure he don't hit your leg. Uh, just come to him, just come. Come to him, step up, and just start walking back. Come on, we took run up to him, run straight at him, stop in front of him, just about four feet, and back up. Ready? Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Watch him. Stop. Watch him, boy. So Sleeve on, put your sleeve on. Put your own slip, 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 slip. Another hand, you got the wrong way. Backwards on your hand. Come at him. Stay still. I'm gonna put it on him. Then fight with him. Hold him. Fight. Fight with him. Fight with him backwards. Fight with him. Fight with him. Up and down. Up and down. Good boy. Good boy. Hold it backwards. Go backwards. Go backwards. Go backwards. Hold it right there. Put your arm around. Out like this, and slide, go back We're trying to build calm grips, and that is the reason for using a sleeve here. There is no doubt that I need professional helpers who desire to see this dog reach the highest level of his hidden genetics. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's what he supposed to do right now. When he dropped the sleeve out of his mouth, that is a great sign that we don't have a prey monster. Prey monsters are those dogs you see online that they're picking up and throwing around and they don't come out and transform uh, into a bite to the suspect. You'll find if you've ever worked the streets doing security or police work that you need a serious type of dog. And a serious type of dog spits the sleeve out and looks at the suspect as if, hey, I've taken your arm. I am ready to fight. If you watch him here, he looked at the suspect and said, Hey, you, I want more. Is that all you got? And uh, the fight continued. But again, this dog can be phenomenal if I had uh, helpers like my son Nicholas or, or that were better, that can read a dog. So reading the dog is very important. <laughs> Bite sleeves, but we tried. We got to a little bit because these guys are still beginning helper work, learning helper work with me, and uh, everybody's kind of like fearful that he, he he don't want the equipment. That he'll you you can try to make him target, and he'll just say, "Damn that, what you doing?" And hit your leg. Or you got on the leg sleeve, and he'll dive up and hit you in the shoulder. Quattro has produced me some phenomenal dogs over the years. This is in the result of line breeding those dogs. If you look in the background, you can see him jumping over that fence to follow me. It is very easy to train this type of dog. When you have a dog with the correct genetics, this type of training you see, the dog makes it look easy. People breed dogs without a purpose and hopes to create something versus what I do, I'm trying to retain something. 
I'd like to share that with you. If you're looking for a working dog, don't hesitate. What are you waiting for? Just pick up the phone and call us. You begin to lose that positive ending. And so you always want to end on a positive note. The dog understood what he had to do. He learned the game, picking the ball up. He had a chance to run with me. And uh, 